think I consistently notice a sense of trusting your own intuition. Like when I work with folks for for a longer period of time, I often notice this shift between maybe they want a lot of very specific instruction at the very beginning. They want to be told, okay, what's the project to do for this? How should I work on this? And over time, as people get more comfortable working with different art materials, um, making things without knowing how it's going to turn out, you know, doing spontaneous art in that way. I think over time, when someone participates in art therapy, they come to have this sense of, okay, I know how to identify the feeling I'm experiencing right now. I know what material I probably want to, to use to start to work this out. And I know how to begin, not necessarily knowing what I'm going to make or how it's going to turn out. But I think... Yeah, the most significant shift I see oftentimes when I work long-term with people is that they just trust their ability to to hold big emotions and they have this mm-hmm. new tool to, yeah. to do that for themselves. Yeah, I love that so much because I see like the metaphor in that because the way people live life, right, is they want to be told what to do. They want, want to follow instructions and they're too scared to like figure it out on their own. But when you give them art, like the like as an artist, right? The more you create art, the more you're in tune with your intuition and your inner voice, and you're just like, mm, let's try this, let's try this, and then you stop judging yourself so hard. So mm-hmm. I think there there are so mm-hmm. many lessons in just doing art that can apply to living your life in a more, I don't know, more peaceful way or more fluid way. Um, I, I don't know if you know the tagline for Lavender is life is an art, make it your masterpiece. <laughs> mm-hmm. So so I love the metaphor of art as life and, and, and going about life as like, however, you know, you are the creator and you get to decide what you want to create. And a lot of people in the beginning of that stage are too scared to, 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 you know, be creative and to figure things out. But yeah, what you're doing with people is like helping them tap into that side that has that creativity and that power. So I, I, it's exciting for me to hear that. But exactly. And, you know, there's good reasons that people feel anxious or even unworthy of, of creating things, right? So many of us grew up being told that we have to make art in a very specific way or that you know, maybe we didn't even have opportunities to make art, right? So much of the way art is taught or the way kids are encouraged or not encouraged is to make things that you know follow specific rules have a specific probably eurocentric standard of beauty um art is only seen as valuable if it's marketable or accurate right there's lots of messaging we receive as young people about what creativity should be so i think you know my my mission as an art therapist is to help adults unlearn some of that programming and come back to creativity as a safe and accessible way of challenging some of those those beliefs and those internalized internalized systems. 